going on YouTube? It's your boy Jerisco coming at you guys with another video, boys. And today, fellas, I'll be going over five huge gameplay changes you will see in Madden 23, and it's gonna change the entire game. So let's go hop into it. Now, if you guys haven't already, make sure you drop a like, comment, and subscribe, fellas. Doing those three things goes a long way. Help your boy out a lot. So hey, go and take care of that. You feel me? Also, make sure you turn on that bell notification so you guys don't miss anything Madden 23. So now, hop into the video. So like I said, we'll be going over five huge gameplay changes you guys will see in Madden 23. Like, it's gonna change everything, and I'm telling you right now, you're gonna need to know this. So you better listen up right now. So, um, the, also, one of, the, one of the things that we're gonna be talking about in this video, the first thing we'll be talking about, um, this is new information. You guys have never heard about it. It just basically got released today in the beta, because, you know, we've been playing the beta for, like, the past week or a couple days, stuff like that. So, you know, this is new information. Like I said, you guys are definitely gonna know about. Um, and yeah, we're playing the beta pretty heavy. We haven't been able to play Yard yet, which, um, we should be able to play this week 100% we'll be able to play yard this week so once we are able to play yard I'll make sure to drop a video on it you know my thoughts you know what's changed and all that type of stuff gameplay wise with yard I'll drop all that when we do when we are able to play it this week um so yeah like I said we've been playing the band and a couple things been opened up so uh, yeah let's go hop into it so the first huge gameplay change you will see in Madden 23 will be new abilities so basically Mutt just went live in the beta and you can see a bunch of the new abilities that will be coming to Mutt franchise and probably core man you know head to head also so, so we're gonna hop into some you know that I, I did see. So the first one we have persistent. Persistent basically is hard. It makes you harder to knock out of the zone. Um, next we have inside shade. That's a new ability. Um, and basically inside shades for cornerbacks, and it, it is a faster reaction to receivers on inside cuts inside the numbers. Basically, that's what inside shade is. Then there's the opposite, which is outside shade, which you know, like I said, it's outside the numbers. Basically, get faster reaction time if you're a cornerback. And next up we have high point dead eye, and this this ability is four quarterbacks and this grants perfect accuracy on high throws under 20 yards it has to be under not over not you know no it has to be under 20 yards so that's a huge ability right there too goal line back which is like a derrick henry you know running back you know type of ability and this is stronger run blocking within five yards of the end zone so if your running back has this ability your old line is gonna have basically better run blocking yes you heard me right this ability is gonna make your old line play better if you're yeah you know, if you put on your running back which is actually kind of crazy um, but yeah, those are just a couple of the, you know, the new abilities that I did see in the beta. And I'm telling you right now, we're probably going to have like a bunch more once the game actually does drop. At number two, once we have pass coverage, and I'm telling you right now, boys, this is going to be a huge, huge change in Madden 23. Now, I know if you have played the beta or you, you know, seen on Twitter or just seen people's feedback about the Madden 23 beta, they have said that pass coverage is absolutely insane. I also said that. If you guys look, you know, somewhere on the screen, I have the video of my beta feedback video. The pass coverage in Madden 23 is absolutely absolutely insane i'm talking about bro if you have 70 overall timmy two shoes at cornerback they're gonna be playing absolutely cracked now there are three major reasons why man 23 zones are absolutely insane compared to last year where they absolutely suck so the first one is spot drop zones so this is basically a change that they have made to the zones to where basically you can basically turn on to when you want them to match and when you want them to be actually zones where they spot drop you know then guard their zone you can change this now and you know the, the coach adjustments you can change how your zones play do you want them to match or do you want them to spot drop a zone so that that's a huge change honestly that's going to change the entire thing because last year you know it was just one thing where you know if you call a specific play then they would match or you know if you called you know just a regular cover two they would just play zone but now you can actually change you know whatever coverage they're in or whatever play you call you can change how they pick how they play coverage next we have drift logic for deep defenders and i mean good god did they need this this basically means that they're going to be adding you know but basically the deep defense Friends, they're gonna play better they're just gonna play better you know those deep blues the, the halves the quarters they're just gonna drift better and man 22 they played like absolute trash because they drifted like they don't know what the heck they're doing they they drifted like they don't know how to play football they don't have no iq that's how they played so now they basically tuned it and they changed it to where they actually have a better drift logic and they actually get to their spot now and that's a huge w i mean that's a huge huge change and then the last one is zone defender locomotion and basically this just means like they got like some new you know animations and you know there's some new um basically how they move to their zone their movement animations 
to their zones. Also, you know, going on with the drift logic. Basically, this is going to make them, you know, play their zone better. They're going to actually, you know, play uh, uh, cloud flat. If you throw it at the cloud flat, they're going to actually move better to, you know, guard that cloud flat. And now the number three huge man 23 gameplay change you will see is going to be pass rush and QB contain. Now, this is another one of them ones where, like I said, everybody's been talking about it in the beta about when you, like, go kind of kind of go more in depth and, you know, kind of tell you guys what EA has said about this. And, you know, so like I said, you really know what's, what to expect when, you know, you play day one. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, boys. The man 23 baby, the, the pass rush is absolutely insane. Like, you literally get whacked every single play if you don't set up a block right. If you, you know, if someone says more than five people, you're probably gonna get sacked instantaneously. So, you know, there's a couple of things there, you know, a bunch of like D tackles, the instant, you know, pass rush wins and all that. That's all gonna get changed though. It's probably gonna get, you know, a little bit tuned or whatever by the time the game does launch. But like I said, still expect pass rush to be pretty good it's still gonna get it's still gonna be pretty good they're not gonna over like they're not gonna drastically change it's just not gonna happen they'll get it bro it's gonna be pretty good blitzing is gonna be good this year pass rush is gonna be good this year and um once again there's like three main reasons why um the first one that says on the website says right here quicker get offs and the quicker get offs for all pass rushers so basically that just means they're, they're gonna get off they're gonna they're not gonna sit and just play patty cake all day if they're you know good stats good overall they're gonna actually get off they're like they're gonna get off the, the old lineman and and they're gonna get to the quarterback. They're gonna do what they're supposed to do. They're gonna, you know, get in those rush lanes. And that's the second thing. Um, the second huge change is rush lane integrity. Basically, they're saying that you know, when you play the run, if you're trying to play them, if you're trying to stop the run, it's gonna be way better in Madden 23. Same thing. They're actually gonna play like their lanes. They're gonna play their lanes how they should. Um, like I said, they tune the logic and stuff. It says on the website. So I think that's a huge W right there. Um, and then the last thing, and this is honestly the huge. This is this is a huge change is disengage improvements. I'm not gonna lie to you, boys. In the Madden 23 beta, the disengage is absolutely wild. I'm talking about, bro. If you have a cubic contain, even if you don't have a cubic contain, if you're trying to roll out the pocket and throw a 60 yard dot, it's not happening, bro. It's not unless you have Lamar Jackson, who's like 99 speed, 96 speed, or whatever he is. Um, he doesn't have escape bars because they, you know, they took away escape bars this year. It's, it's now an X factor, not an ability. Uh, well, it's not, it's not a regular ability. It's an X factor now. But um, unless you have, you know, someone like Lamar Jackson, you're not gonna be getting that. You know, good scramble, being able to like outrun, you know, edge defense, not gonna happen, bro. Disengage is way better this year. The edge defenders, they disengage way better. Um, like I said, they say it all on the website right here. And like I said, it's absolutely wild. They play crack. Like they play insane, bro. At the number four huge change you will see at Man 23 is catching, boys. And catching, honestly, I haven't seen a lot of people talk about this. This is something I haven't seen a lot of people talk about. And I want people to actually know catching is gonna be totally different. So on the website it says new content, new context sensitive catching Catching animations have been added so that no matter where you place the ball with the new field sense skill based passing mechanic the appropriate the appropriate catch will follow so this kind of goes hand in hand with the field sense skill passing you know meter and stuff like that that new thing that they kind of added that's going to change the way you know you throw balls and stuff like that um catching kind of went along with it so the receiver if they get some crazy back shoulder ball or something like that is going to go along with it as it says right here throwing to the throwing it to the furthest lead point on the street grab with skill based passing will allow receiver to catch it while reaching out while reaching out over his shoulder so you can do like over the shoulder stuff behind the shoulder stuff behind the back passes all those type of things you can do in Madden 23 and they added animation so you can do that so I'm telling you right now you gonna see some crazy animations some crazy catch animations um spectacular catching is actually pretty crazy if you have someone like Mike Evans 6'5 with ability he has to have abilities to like deep out something like that they go absolutely wild if you do like a skill based pass basically if you do like a, a skill based lead pass something like that they go crazy they be mossing dudes um it's probably gonna get tuned a little bit by the time the game comes out so you know you're not mossing everybody but nonetheless skill based passing and catching it, it, it's gonna change the way you know receivers and, and quarterbacks you know they, they go out it's gonna change the entire way they you know throw and catch and stuff like that it's gonna change everything so Tell you right now, catching is gonna be totally different. You're gonna see a huge change in catching come Madden 23. The last thing we gotta talk about, boys, is gonna be blocking. Yes, we gotta talk about blocking. So EA, they do have on their website basically talking about blocking and stuff like that, how it did get changed. And basically what they said was that they add new pass, pass block animation that go with, you know, the new, you know, 
you know, passwords, the AI passwords that's, you know, super cracked and stuff like that. They added new animation to go on with that. And they basically said, you know, the, the new edge um, animations, you know, that go with, you know, the new, like, like I said, new AI passwords. Lastly, they do say that they did add add-on blocks. So this is basically whenever, you know, a fullback, a tight end, whenever those guys chip block and then go off for a route, they basically added those to Man 23 and they look better in Man 23. So, like I said, those are all huge changes that they did add to blocking. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you boys, for me playing the Man 23 beta, does the old line suck? Yes. Do them dudes act like absolute plumbers? And do they act like they've never played football before? Yes, they get they get blasted a bunch of times, they get beat a lot of times. But like I said, once Man 23 drops, it's all gonna get tuned. They're kinda gonna balance it out so, you know, D-line's not too overpowered. And so that old line, you know, they don't, you know, block someone all day. You know, they, they're gonna tune it out. They're gonna make sure it's in balance. I'm pretty sure because everybody has told them D-line is too good. So once you know the game drops, you know, like I said, expect the O-line to be better. And with these changes that they have, you know, listed and stuff like that, I've had kind of noticed it. You know, like I said, the add-on blocks. We're tired like chip someone and then go out for a ride. I love how that looks and everything in Madden 23. So yeah, blocking is gonna you're gonna see a huge change in blocking, especially from Madden 22. It's gonna be different. I'm telling you right now, it's gonna be different. There's a bunch of new animations, you know, stuff like that. So it's definitely gonna be something to get used to. You're gonna have to have a lot of pocket presence. If you don't got no pocket, you're cooked for Madden 23. I'm telling you now. So now you guys let me know in the comments below what do y'all think is the biggest change we have talked about in this video? What change do you think is gonna change the entire game? Which you know, one change is gonna be like the game changer for Madden. So let me know in the comments below how do you guys feel. Was there any change? that you know we didn't talk about or you still want to see in Madden let me know in the comments below all right guys that's it for the video thank you guys for watching like comment and subscribe for more videos just like this one and until next time peace